Should you buy the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro Max? Samsung just released their most powerful phones they've ever made. And I see two reasons to buy the Galaxy S24 Ultra over the 15 Pro Max. And two reasons you should probably go with the iPhone. So let's dive in. When I look at the S24 Ultra, I see a refinement of something that was pretty much perfect last year. The edge and display design is completely flat now. The sides are titanium, which gives you slightly better grip, and the front of the device is stronger with something called Corning Gorilla Armor. The phone also feels noticeably slimmer and still manages to pack that 5,000 milliamp battery and the S Pen. I know this is being slightly unfair to the 15 Pro Max, which also got a glow up of its own, but somehow, at least to me, the S24 Ultra feels better in the hand. So the Tech Ninja reason number one to buy the Galaxy S21 Ultra is ergonomics. Now side by side from the front, you'll be able to see the difference between these flagships. A slightly larger 6.8 inch panel on the S24 Ultra versus 6.7 inches on the 15 Pro Max. Now both of these are punchy as you'd expect with OLED panels and with the thin bezels on all sides. They're both great looking displays and they're hella smooth, 120 hertz. But the S24 Ultra goes up to 2600 nits of peak brightness compared to 2000 nits on the 15 Pro Max. So on days where the sun is bright and shining down, you'll get a better image on the S24 Ultra. Full disclosure, I have never ran into a situation on my iPhone where I said, man, I, I wish this screen was brighter. So maybe it's not a spec that's really needed, but I'm not going to mark down a device for having a better spec, even if I don't care for that spec or feel that it's something that I need. Does that make sense? Look, over the years, I've toned down on specs in most of my videos because all these phones are great and they're super fast, but once you get a phone in your hand, I mean, you don't really care. I'm not like, man, this, man, this Snapdragon out here moving, man, this, this RAM, no. And that's how I felt with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and that's how I'm gonna view the S24 Ultra in the long-term performance. But there's a lot of unique features that both of these devices have that set them apart. So let's take a look at the 15 Pro Max first. You know, being on iOS 17, this will give you the most polished software experience for majority of applications. It also gives you that dynamic island that you can use to track sports or your deliveries live. I think that's a great feature and live actions too. These are things that I absolutely miss when I'm not on this phone. The action button, not so much, but it's there. Beyond that, you look at any iPhone and the 15 Pro Max included for an experience that just works. And also as a creator, there's a lot of apps that are still only made for the iPhone. And some apps I use daily are iPhone only without a good Android alternative. So another reason to pick the iPhone over the S24 Ultra is Apple software integrations. Now we all know 2023 was the boom of AI. Everything was all about AI. And I think Samsung is definitely onto something with the S24 since it takes advantage of AI in more useful ways than you think. In its browser, you can quickly summarize long articles or even translate them. Translate also works for text messaging and live calling, which I think is great for accessibility or when you travel and you wanna be able to just live in the environment even if you don't know the language. Things like that are very useful. Now, I will admit I've only used these features in a controlled environment, so I really have to see how they work for me when I get a chance to experience them in real life. You've also got tools to quickly transcribe and summarize your transcripts in the Notes app. And speaking of notes, if your handwriting is trash like mine with the S Pen, a bit of AI magic can help you straighten that out too. Another awesome feature is what Samsung calls circle to search, which essentially is literally what it means. If you see something you want to search about, you just circle it. Now, this is not an exclusive S24 Ultra feature, but it's still great. It's actually better than Google Lens because you can keep refining your search. So if you like a certain bag, you circle it, and then maybe you want it in green. It will then search for similar products and give you results immediately, which actually blows my mind and it becomes immensely more useful. I think that kind of dynamic despite having a powerful chip, is something that's not really possible on the 15 Pro Max. And Samsung provides that out of the box. And I think it's a big deal. So a reason to pick the S24 Ultra, gotta be the AI features. And the AI features are not just restricted to productivity, but also it carries forward to photo and video. Now, 
as this is just a hands-on. I haven't had many samples to compare with each camera, but let me know if that's something you want me to do. As for the AI, you can instantly get slow-mo video with AI generating frames in between. You can also remove glare and unwanted things in photos and have access to generative fill, something we've seen already on Pixel devices, but now it's on this device. The camera hardware is also slightly updated on the S24 Ultra with a 200 megapixel primary, 10 megapixel telephoto for 3x zoom, 50 megapixel telephoto for 10x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. When taking a photo from 3x to 10x, it will be optical quality for photo. In comparison to the 15's Pro Max, you have a 48 megapixel primary, 12 megapixel telephoto for 5x zoom, and 12 megapixel ultra wide. And that kind of seems dwarfed compared to what Samsung is turning out. But of course, guys, I don't want to just stare at these specs and say which one's better. I got to compare them. Make sure you subscribe for that comparison. And then it's the same for battery. You know, I expect the S24 Ultra to be on par with the S23 Ultra, if not better, because it has the same 5,000 milliamp battery with that usual 45 watt fast charging and wireless charging. You also get reverse wireless charging so you could charge up your earbuds or even your uh, Galaxy Watch. While the 15 Pro Max only has a 4,441 milliamp battery with 15 watt fast charging and support for MagSafe. And also the 14 Pro Max and 15 Pro Max battery life has been really bad. I mean, if I'm gonna be out the house, I need to top it off or have a MagSafe battery bank on the back of the phone, which is something I don't have to do with the S23 and I'm assuming with the S24. As a 2024 smartphone, the S24 once again sets the bar, and so far, in my opinion, offers a better modern smartphone experience compared to the 15 Pro Max, at least from a feature standpoint on paper. Of course, I gotta put it through them test with camera samples and 30 day review and, and the way I do things. So hit subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.